Minister AOA reiterated the importance to inform provincial governments, DDAs, LLGs and the general public of the compliance and good governance practices in these important government programs that the government has been implementing. The minister went on to explain how special purposes authorities were initiated. So special purpose authority is a result of a memorandum of understanding between the national government, provincial government, and the developers as to how uh, benefits deriving from uh, development project according to the MOU uh, can be then utilized to bring in services to our people. In March this year, Minister Aoe wrote to the SPAs to send in their progress so far. I want to know what have uh, these uh, uh, SPAs been doing, having received so much money from the government? What have they been doing? I want to see some visibility. I want to see uh, project, uh, list of project being implemented and uh, also reports containing financial accountability as well as uh, project uh, visibility. Minister AOA said out of the 14 SPAs, only eight responded. Most of the SPAs have been operating for a long time, but no reports have been submitted to the ministry and department since their establishment. Eight SPAs responded, but those reports are not full. Going back in time when they were established to give account of all the funds they have received then, up until the time that I requested for the report. So, in other words, lots of SBAs have failed, failed to implement. So, in other words, so much money has gone into SBAs and not taken any, making any impact. Tamara Agavi, National MTV News.